It's I hate the Kings. I do too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And welcome to Overtime, brought to you by Kingscast at www.kingscast.net. I'm Keith Korlock. And I'm Chris Kalazuski. I hate the Kings. I do too. All right, Kings fans, so uh, we're here back tonight uh, after a couple of disappointing losses to Chicago and Nashville. We're going to talk about those games and also talk about hockey t-shirts. So There we go. It is episode 85 entitled, Fire Everything! Kings fans, uh... You know, last time we were at you, it was uh, somewhat positive. Now it's going to be really negative. So sit back and enjoy that. We played the Chicago Blackhawks and uh, played them all right for a little while. Mm -hmm. And then in typical Kings fashion, we uh, circled the bullseye, missed it completely with a loss. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, game started at 6 p.m. Interesting Weird. choice for that. I don't understand why that was. Maybe it was because we were on Versus or something. But, did uh, anybody go to that game? That's a good question. I didn't. Hey, let us know if you're actually at that game. I did not go. I Sorry, I can't leave work at 4. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, everybody who was unemployed went to the game. Yeah. Okay. Last time we played the Blackhawks, uh, actually this year it's been a pretty good game so far uh, against the team, uh, obviously Stanley Cup champions. But uh, it has not been good uh, with that team. I don't know if we don't match up well against them. But what's interesting is that every other Pacific Division team has beaten them. Now, I don't know if there's anything there, but they seem to have our number. And when we talk about that game, uh, we talk about the same issues that we've been talking about all year long as the ineffective power play. Uh, and look at that last goal. So unfortunate. Taves gets the... Uh, is that a Taves goal? I don't even think it's a Taves goal. I think no. it's a Doughty goal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, Doughty uh, tries to clear the puck, uh, hits Taves' skate. We don't get a point, and we lose four in a row. Uh, uh. It, here's my big takeaway from it, Chris. The Kings suck. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, without Mitchell, uh, you know, we have a huge winning record. And without Ponikarovsky... We're something like 16-5-1 mm -hmm. with Ponikarovsky on the fourth line. I, for some reason, he makes some sort of difference. I'm not quite sure what that difference is. Uh, it's clear these guys are the team MVPs because without Mitchell and Ponikarovsky, uh, we have a terrible record. And it's just not happening. We keep losing games. Uh, are these guys that good? The good news is when they come back, we're going to go on a five-game winning streak. We're going to win the cup. Then they're going to get injured, and we're going to miss the playoffs entirely. <laughs> Yep. Uh, so coming in tonight, it's sort of desperate times here in Los Angeles. Oh, must I mean, win. Uh, the Western Conference is tight. Dallas is starting to run away with the Pacific Division. I don't know what to say. Uh, they're, they're just not getting it done. Uh, tonight, you know, had the two-goal lead. Things were looking good. Fantastic. Uh, and then in a two-minute span, all of a sudden the game was tied. And then a little bit later, 3-2, uh, and it just felt like we would not catch up. No, so the Kings lost 5-2, which was terribly unfortunate. And Jonathan Bernie at first looked fine, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and then let in two soft goals. And you know what? Those are really the difference makers. That said, if he had not let in those goals, it still would have been 3-2 Preds. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say about this team anymore. They're so frustrating. I, tonight, actually, I hate to say, but it was the first time that I have left a game early. It was like four minutes left or something in a very long time. It was that bad because, you know what, I knew they weren't going to come back. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah, I mean, we joke about this all the time when we say question of the day, will the Kings make the playoffs? <laughs> but right now, this is not a playoff team. And we're getting to the point very soon where something's going to have to happen. Does Dean Lombardi have the stones to make a major move? Uh, you know, sh I was watching 24-7, Chris, and I was looking at Dan Bielsma, I mean, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, great coach. Mm -hmm. That's a real leader there. I'm not really seeing that right now in Terry Murray. He's done a lot of great things for this club, but uh, do we have to do something? Well, something has to happen. You know, obviously we got Sturm, you know, in an effort to sort of mix things up a little bit and sort of try to fill that empty gap on the left side. Not working out. And is that a shock to you, though? Really? I mean, no. this guy, I mean, has got the injuries, and we got him for a conditional seventh, but. You know, even Terry Murray called him out today in practice. Ugh. Yeah, he's bouncing around. The lines are getting blown up every game. Uh, that, to me, is a desperation move. I don't know what the Kings can do right now except for, I hate to say it, fire the coach or make a huge trade and blow up the roster a little bit. Uh, something's got to happen, though. All right, so Kings fans, your question of the day is, what should Dean Lombardi do to fix this mess? Leave your comments, as always, downstairs. So obviously hockey t-shirts, you know, obviously we are huge hockey fans. Oh yeah. There has never been anything good out there for us to wear outside of the house. Usually when you have a hockey t-shirt, you wear it as like a, uh, a workout shirt 
oh, yeah. or something you wear like when your heater's broken off. in those unfortunate nights that you have to actually sleep in a shirt. You know, it, it, it sucks. I mean, look at some of these shirts that we've worn uh, recently. Check them out. Tonight we are wearing shirts by Grinder Threads. Check them out. I know they're kind of awesome. Uh, Grinder Threads awesome. is sponsoring this show. And if you go on grinderthreads.com, link it, uh, and if you enter the discount code Kingscast, do it. You'll get twenty percent off. So check that out. We love them. Yeah, those are great. these are great shirts. They're actually printed on I think American Apparel. Super soft really shirts. Really good. Quality. They're sixty uh, percent cotton, forty percent polyester. So they're not going to shrink to a, a youth size large if you accidentally dry them. So, but they, these are awesome. I love the sniper shirt. Yours is cool too. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. They're not some weird phrase that no one would get outside of Toronto, but uh, yeah, we definitely love them. Uh, so we'll be right back at you on Monday against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sort of my, uh, you know fringe team that I enjoy very much. Uh, well, not so much this season. But we're going to get to you with that Toronto show. So until then, I'm Keith Cornelick. And I'm Chris Kalzuski. And thank you for watching Overtime by Kingscast. Yeah.